Hi, in this video I will show you how to simulate a G-code. You should go to Program File, go to Load and pick the G-code. Basically, G-code is a text file containing some G-commands. So when you open it, you will see that G-code appears in the list of the programs as a text file. It's the same as the others. So you go to the G code and change the name of the G code to new file name, then open the scope and open the 3D visualization. Then we are going to run the G code and you see it will start plotting in the oscilloscope in the left window. And at the same time, at the right side, you will see we provide a 3D model and we ran the 3D model on 3D visualization window and synchronize them together to show you how it works. As you see here, it will show you the processing line number based on the line number beside the G code. And also the X, Y position, it shows you the movement exactly followed in the same pattern in the 3D visualization. Basically, the 3D visualization and oscilloscope cannot run together in Motion Perfect. And uh, we just did it with, by using a software trick in order to shorten the video time. These two are a handful tools to finalize 90% of the project and then uh, go to the machine for just small modifications. These are also so handful for system integrator when they want to go to the new customer and simulate something for them. As you see, it's a dynamic plot and you can move, rotate, zoom and unzoom the shape as you need. You can do the same with 3D model. You can rotate it freely during the machine is working. Here you can see thousands of points plotted by XYZ movements and finally shows you a mesh to show you how the final piece will look like. In this example, we use a sample G code used for wood engraving machine, but can be similar for plasma cutting, laser cutting, or water jet cutting machine. In this part, I want to explain to you about using a G code template project and how to define the G code, how to change the access numbers, and how to scale it. I recall Motion Perfect can use the offline simulator instead of the physical controller to simulate your G code. So we'll start with the G code program, which is from here. This program called three other programs and include those files which are existing. The other part is defining the G-code file. This program is supposed to access to some G-codes which are available in the memory. In this part, the files that you see here are with text file format or some sample G-codes. For example, if I open one of them, you see it's a G-code program or parsing system actually read this program and execute. So return to the G-code. Here, this statement define the file name that a parsing system you're looking for inside the memory. If you want to change the G-code name, you just simply need to change this name and use one of the G-code names which are existing here. For example, I want to change it to another one which is called T. So I just just simply change this to T. After running the G-code program, it will be looking for T and it will find this file and execute this G-code. And the second one is the set access. Set access actually is a special uh, function that is existing in this program. And here is the main part to scaling, define the units and define the acceleration, deceleration, and some access parameters can be defined here. So if you wish to run it on your machine, you need to define the access scaling and access parameters in this part. And you need to modify based on your access information. The next part is this project define X as access 1, Y as access 2. So if you wish to start from access 0, you need to modify this part with 0 instead of 1, with 1 instead of 2. So you need to modify in this order. We have another part which is here. This is the trigger command which can start the oscilloscope for you. So if you wish to have simulation here, in the oscilloscope, this command that can start the plotting for you on the scope. If you're doing it by yourself, you need to put this menu continuous trigger mode. You need to put this menu to trigger source from program, which you see here. And also, it's better to, to put on this mode. And you need to run the scope manually before trigger started. Here we have an initial value for this variable. So it means it will start to put the result of parse G code from VR4000. 
So based on your project, you can pick any VR number from zero to 16,000, which is available. But you can remember you need to keep space of at least 30 VR. And uh, so you see here, it started from 4,000 to 4,029. And this is simply the alphabet characters. For example, 4,003 means A, 4,004 means B. C, D, and in the sequence till Z or Z. It will put the value in front of, for example, A. If it find A in your G code, pick the value in front of A and put it in 4003. For example, if, if it detects X10, it will put 10 in register number 4026, which is the X value that need to be executed. Here is our G-code program, which is streaming and executing the G-code. And this part, we open a channel to read the G-code file. And this is the string to decimal and converter, which is the main command for streaming the G-code. This part, horse block, which detecting the different characters, like G character, as you know, the G is the sixth alphabet number. We detecting the G and different characters and running this related sub program. So we have G, we have M, which is the end code we have t which is a tool number s means the spindle speed and so on in this part we're running the different part of the sub program related to every end code based on the m number you see you can detect different kind of the end codes and execute it on the sub program this part actually is the main part to getting the position data and put it in the right register and make it ready to execute so we have the x position Y position, Z position, and so on. This part is the main part to executing the G command. So this introducing the G0. This is the move command for the G0. In this part, based on the positions we have. We have three axes here, but you can add some more axes as you need. And this program has capacity to running five axes. So you can fully change the code based on your requirement. Let's consider this project is a completely open source project and you can add any G code, M code or any other code that you need in your machine. Thank you very much for your attention.